everyone welcome back to cyber secret tv uh, so in this video we're going to talk about one of the most important topic uh, like you know for especially for the tech business but more importantly uh, SaaS businesses which is software as a service providers uh, uh, SOC 2 compliance uh, so like you know if you're if you're really worried about and, and you're hearing the buzzword SOC 2 and like you know why does it matter how to achieve those what is the difference between type 1 and type 2 you have all those questions then this one is for you. Uh, so let's let's get into it. Uh, first of all, why why does the like you know your customer or your your users are asking for a SOC 2 compliance? Uh, like the nature of the SaaS business, uh, probably if you are a business owner, you would know that you are you are storing that your customers' data, your users' data, and you are storing maybe in, in your cloud or on premise or somewhere. So your customer is worried about how do you ensure that their data is secure. And that's why the SOC 2 compliance was designed. Now, the, that's like, you know, of course, the, the, the part and the goal is to get like, you know, data security, but, but SOC 2 does more than just the data security. So essentially it has like, you know, five trust criteria. Data security, which is also known as uh, common criteria. Uh, then you take CIA trial, which is confidentiality, uh, making sure only authorized people can access the data. Then you have integrity, uh, which is to ensure the data is processed, uh, like you know, keeping integrity in mind and accuracy. And then you have availability, that the platform or the service that whichever you're offering to your customers or users are always available, or you, you're meeting the uptime requirements. And lastly, you have the privacy, which is to ensure that the privacy of the user data, especially like, you know, think of it like a GDPR, right? The privacy policy and stuff like that. So those are the, those are the five trust criteria. Now, if you're going for a SOC 2, that doesn't mean you have to uh, go with all five of them. Like your business and your solution and the service or platform that you're you are providing to your customers, you can pick and choose. Uh, security is the default or the, like, you know, uh, you have to comply with, but then all the other remaining four, you can pick and choose which one you want or which one you don't. So it's, it's, it's not exactly like other compliance like ISO 27001, HIPAA, PCI, where you have a set of requirements and uh, like, you know, you have to follow whichever applicable to you. Here you can design your own controls. And once you design your controls, the auditor, like, you know, the auditor or the CPA comes, they audit you and then, then they give you the SOC 2 compliance. So this is like, you know, very high level process. Now let's talk about what is the type one versus the type two? So type one is point in time, and or you can say the step stone to get to the type two, and type two is over a period of time. So suppose, uh, like you know, you want to prove that you have certain security controls in place, like uh, you have, uh, you're making sure your your system or your platform is always available, or you have uh, proper access control in place. You want to prove that to the customer. Uh, but yeah, you don't want to do that like you know f follow that over six months or, or one year you can just go with the type one which is like you know uh, the auditor will come they'll assess that you have control in place in the point in time and they will give you the type one assessment report and then you can circle that, that to your customers now type two is a bit different and of course a little more challenging advanced or complex whatever you want to say right the extensiveness of the type two is you can choose the, service, uh, the time period uh, essentially like you know uh, like most of the time you have to choose between three to 12 months so minimum you have to choose for three months maximum you can choose for 12 months so suppose uh, you are starting uh, like you know your journey of uh, SOC 2 in January and then you say like okay we have all this control in place like we have uh, like you know risk assessment we have a uh, access control audit we are like you know making sure all of our uh, cloud security is in place etc you continue that for three months at minimum january february and march april your auditor comes they start auditing and they pick a sample of the evidence unlike type one where they like you know you can provide any evidence here they're gonna sample uh from let's say february 1st or february 20th or march 30th or whatever like they pick random samples and you have to demonstrate that your controls or design controls that you have were working during those three months and that gets you the type two and that's why most of the customers would be like you know your customers would be asking you to get the type two rather than type one because 
that gives them more of a, a, what you call assurance that yes um, like you know this is working fine you're, you're demonstrating the controls consistently so that's the difference between the type 1 and type 2 now how do you prepare for the type 2 or type 1 so there are again a couple steps right like uh, a simple approach nowadays you might have heard the automation tool uh, there are i guess a lot more coming up a renowned name is like a drada venta a secure frame thoroughpass etc so they provide you platform as a service where you connect you integrate all your critical systems like github gitlab your aws azure gcp uh, your big defender or they have like marketplace right so you connect all of this and the system uh, the platform automates all the security controls and its validation and then uh, probably there are, there, is, there are some part which you have to do it manually like your business continuity test the second approach is you can still do old-fashioned or old school like you know do it manually so on a spreadsheet you list like there are criteria available from the SOC 2 you design your controls based on that or whichever CPA you choose they will give you the list of controls that you like and then based on the controls you have designed you implement whatever is missing once you identify the gaps once you fulfill the gaps you kind of run like internal audit yourself just to ensure that yeah all the all the stuff that that's required by the your controls designed you have it accomplished and lastly you would like to write a system description and this is i would say the most important doc the reason being is this will be the one that will be seen by your customer so maybe your marketing team might have some input right like saying to this report as well like what you want to publish or showcase your skills or or, or like you know security or, or uh, uh, like you know may take a pride about your platform to your customers so you write the system description and again you will get this templates from your CP once you finish all of this you go to the CPA you go either type 1 type 2 like we discussed earlier and they will audit and, and you are soft to compliance now this is like you know uh, not a one-time thing though uh especially i would say type 2 right because let's say you 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 had chosen let's say 12 months january to december 2024 as a review period now as 2026 starts you want to go back and make sure you have demonstrated the same control from january 1st 2025 to december 31st 2025 and that's the reason if you see any software report from any of the service providers they will have this review period on top of the page to make sure to 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 like you know uh, to demonstrate that their security controls were working and if you fail on any of these security controls that will be shown up as an exception in the report of course you will have like you know that will be communicated to you by the auditor early in advance but yeah uh, this will be shown as exception but if you have done a decent job and like you know probably have some someone help you out uh, who knows software very well uh, would make sure there are no exceptions in the report because no one likes to see that so all right so to sum it up uh soc 2 is not a certification it's a compliance it's not a one-time process it's a type one type two it's a long-term commitment for organization it does prove that you are secure to your customers to your to your users it's easy for them to trust you and and put the data into your environment so overall it's a it's a it's a really good and and probably it's a mandatory kind of a mandatory has it's now became if you want to operate in the us all right so that's all the soft two if you like me to go like much more detail we can go to each criteria in like you know future video series and and we, i can explain you each criteria what it means what you need to do and etc uh, let me know i'm happy to do that uh, but yeah uh, depending on how feedback i get I'll, I'll plan the future series on this all right so if any questions do let me know as always and i'll see you guys next week thank you